All right, guys, today we've got uh, some chains off the truck. See, chains, yep. And then uh, Dirt Perfect has ordered us a box of chains. See right there, chain hooks, I should say. G70s, 3 8 not as good as the G80s, but G70s will work just fine. Show you what we're doing. So essentially, we've noticed that when we chain equipment down, we uh, rarely use the full length of the chain when we do it. So we're gonna make us some shorter chains. Step one is line it up on a couple marks and inspect the links, then we'll throw it in the vise and cut it off. So we're making the actual chain section two foot long. So with the hooks, you know, a little over two foot. So we'll just double check the length, make sure everything's consistent. I was making a joke there about uh, G70s and G80s, but I've seen on some of the truck forums that I follow that there are some flatbed drivers actually going to G80 chain and G80 hooks. I'm curious if any of you guys use G80s or if you still use G70. It's a real thing, it's not just a joke. What are your thoughts on it? I don't, uh, I haven't heard anything about any DOT changes in the future, but just curious what you guys use. So we're going to make six of these. I know we only have ten hooks, so obviously it's going to be in five. But in the long run, we're going to make a total of six of these to uh, throw on the trailer. And we'll get these all put together and throw them on the trailer so you can see what they look like. All right, so we got the uh, chains down here. It's a beautiful sunshiny day. We are gonna haul something today so we can see how well these chains work. Uh, first things first, let's get the old puppy dog fired up. Let's see, how's that gonna work? That'll be okay. is already out on a job and we are going to run the SVL 90-2 out to him. 
I don't know. I feel like I had more to say, and then I didn't. So let's just fire this thing up too. All right. She fired up just fine, just fine. Maybe. Uh, come on. Final result of the short chains. Obviously, they got tightened down and up. But look, they don't mess with the full chain. Now, obviously, like on the track hoe, we still have a long chain to go across the boom. On the 850, we have long chains we got to use. But we're just hauling stuff like this. And even on the track hoe, running from the uh, track to the side rail, still only one long chain on the track hoe. Then we can just use these short sections like that. Easy peasy, man. And once Mike gets his setup, up here, I don't know if I've shown you this yet, but he got a super nice aluminum box. Let's go see. All right, so here's what Mike got. It's just a picture. We'll get a video of installing it, maybe sometime next week. I'm not sure. He got that little leaf blower to go with it too to help keep the trailer clean. It won't completely replace the broom, but it'll help. It'll be nice. But we can put the battery charger here, the inverter, keep the drill, binder, chains, merchandise, hoodies, t-shirts, hats, the whole nine yards in here, really. It's going to be like a merchant stand plus a chaining stand. It's going to be, I mean, we're talking top of the line technology here. Okay, back to the trailer. This aluminum diamond plate box opens up like that to the top so we can access it from the ground. We're up with the short chains in here, maybe the binders, the drill, inverter, charger, all right here for this setup. It's going to be super slick. I just need to show you that box sometime. But that's it for this one. So I'm going to freeze frame you for just a second, but I want to point something out because I know somebody's going to point it out in the comments. The forks are sitting in the bucket. No, they don't have a strap on them now, but I do put a strap on it before I take off. I promise you that. And to prove it, I'll show you a clip from an upcoming video of where we offload this. There you go. See the strap? One more time. See it? It's across the forks, holding it down nice and tight. Back across one more time. All right. Enough of that shenanigans. Back to the video. We got to finish getting this chain down, get the dirt perfect, because he's probably anxious and waiting on us. Uh, and as always, well, there you are. As always, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, consider doing so. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Hope you're having a good day.